Hey guys, today I'll be taking you around uh, our SMP server again and showing you a few new tricks that I've learned with uh, ComputerCraft. Yeah, ComputerCraft's pretty cool. You can build these things called turtles, which can go and dig out areas for you, build things from blueprints. It's pretty handy. But yeah, I want to show you our biggest town construction, the town clock. So yeah, this is pretty much a combination of Red Power 2 and ComputerCraft. Red Power 2 handles the little LED blocks there that you can see, little displays that give you your digits and most of the circuitry and uh, ComputerCraft controls the time, gets it from the server. I'll just be taking you through a quick rundown of how you can go about building this clock on your server. Let's get started shall we? Back here you'll see the circuitry this is probably the first step that you need to do. Maybe just set up uh, two sets of digits to start out with so you can get your computer working correctly and just check that everything's showing. But yeah, you'll need to connect your bundled cable. I use two different colors for, and each of them controls two digits because we have quite a few colors to work with in the bundle cable. You can see blues and greens and reds and blacks. Two sets of bundled cables and then they'll go through into their LED things there. You can see uh, I've put a uh, red wire on each side of the bundled cable so it spreads through all three LED nodes. Yeah, and all these go back to the actual computer room which I'll show you in a bit. Um, I've chosen this size because I wanted to show it throughout the, the town but you could choose something a bit smaller if this is too big scale for you. Although it might be a bit more difficult to show show the digits clearly but yeah it's quite it's quite a large project but um, I prefer it that way feel free to try different ones just of another note um, the two flashing kind of like tickers are actually not computer controlled they're just controlled by these little uh, switches that you get in red power they're called uh, I think what are they called sequences yes yeah, sequences so I've just put a sequence on each side and they got interval of two seconds each so because they're on opposite sides they'll flash every second. Okay another thing to note is that uh, these bundled cables can actually go underneath which is something red power can't do or normal redstone can't do and straight up very very handy actually because often with redstone in normal minecraft you have to build up little uh, redstone torches just to get your signal up. Uh, this this cable here is actually unnecessary, but yeah, you can get a look at what it looks like there. So yeah, just need to build a whole bunch of bundled cables. Doesn't have to be in different okay. colors, but it helps. Uh, the recipe for bundled cables you can see here. Another handy mod is this. Uh, not enough items. Comes up with all sorts of stuff that you, all sorts of recipes that you can use in Minecraft. Yeah, you can see there. I'll put uh, I'll put some links in the description below on how to do all these recipes for bundle cables and things like that. Right, so here we have the actual computer. This is the crux of the computing power. I put a fluffy drive on it, but I don't think it's really necessary. I'm just keeping one program on there, and that's actually stored on our server. But you might want to have a little disk there to store your programs on for uh, if you don't have to have control of your server. If you're playing on single player it shouldn't be a problem there. But yeah, basically this is the program. Use, I'm going to include this file on on the end of the video here in the description. So you can just download this. Um, I don't mind if you use my work. You don't have to really quote me or anything. It's actually bunch of other people's work put in here as well but yeah that was all free for you for use basically what you want to start with is just to uh, have a time URL which is some sort of it points to a page that you have somewhere on a website or something that has your time time.php I'll include that PHP file somewhere on this video as well in the description so basically you want to put that on a, on your website somewhere that's basically where your computer craft is going to grab the the information from and make sure that your time is correct is as far as I know there's no actual way to 
show the time other than getting it from a from an online source because the time that it uses in computer craft is actually Minecraft time which runs very quickly okay the split on that's semicolon um, that's just depends on what your what your file is set up as here I've just set it a semicolon like normal time so you would have 1432 and then you've got your hour side which is okay let me let me explain these this hour sides and minute size and I've set them to back and left so if we look at our computer here we've got cable coming in on the left of the computer and a cable on the back of the computer so the green one goes through and goes through to our minute our hour so left and then our minute side is the back orange and that goes through to the digits for the minutes so that's what that means the hour side where is what side is your hour signal need, need to be sent to and the minute side is what side does your minute signal need to be sent to another thing you might need to edit is um, these colors so in the top left corner I've got the line color top left top slot I've got the light blue color and the top right I've got black so if we just go check that out you should see that it lines up here so we've got top left black top the blue and then we've got lime on the right top right so yeah that matches up there okay so yeah there's all those light blue blah 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 and that's also set up for the second digit so I've got two digits being sent there to all different colors you might need to edit those if you do your colors a bit differently just change colors dot to whatever your color needs to be and then I've also got some words in there so when the computer first boots up it says hello with only one L I know it's a typo but there's only four digits so it says hello and then it types out the word sync as well once it starts downloading the time from the internet so you know when it's actually updating its time it does that once every hour so it doesn't actually need the, the internet too often I've tried to limit the code usage okay, these are a bunch of functions I'm just going to skip down for now I'll cover that later I'm not going to run through how LUA works that's like something that you just need to know with computer craft if you don't know programming then you can just basically edit that top file there and you're done. If you don't really want to know how the rest of the program works, you can stop watching now. But yeah, I'm just going to run through some basics of how this program works in case anyone has trouble and wants to modify this, so please feel free. I'm busy adding a, a charm for every hour as well. Once I do that, I might actually update the code and then let you guys have a look at that. But yeah, okay, so I've got my left mixes here and right mixes. So basically what that says is to display zero it needs to light up the top left of the second digit, the top of the second digit, the top right of the second digit, blah blah blah. So basically it's all the LEDs that need to be on to display zero correctly. And then I do the same for one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. And then I do the same for the left, the left digit. So you can display two digits with different mixes there okay so when the computer first reboots its first run is set to true and the last thing set to zero and the split time set to nothing and it just prints out to the screen system sync preparation and then it sets the bundle hour sites to the word HE and the bundle minute side to the word LO so it basically displays LO and then it display uh, sleeps for 10 seconds now why I've put the sleep for 10 seconds in there is I found if it executes this uh, internet update straight away the program crashes and I'm not quite sure why um, I think it's just because the system needs time to boot but I'm not, I'm not too sure if there's a problem with my code but uh, anyway this, the sleeping for 5 seconds and 10 seconds seems to just help out matters but yeah it's not it, you could probably find a way to get it working without the sleep for 10 seconds but I don't really see much point in that Okay, so if it's that while true do means that this program runs forever, it never actually stops until you terminate the program forcefully. You could have like a, a read key so it reads in and you can quit at some stage, but I mean I don't really need that, so I never really programmed it in. 
Okay, so if it's first run and sync is OR, the sync is greater than 60. So what that does is if the program is first starting or the last time it updated the time from the internet was more than 60 minutes ago, then it's going to go and update from that uh, URL. So it sets your word to sync there, S-Y-N-C. And then it sleeps for 10 seconds, fetches the URL, and then it uh, makes a new file. On your on your computer here called time so that goes to fs dot exist so it checks if the file exists then it uh, opens it this this should automatically all work uh, this comes from the HTTP pull check function which is basically a function I pulled from from the computer craft website which helps you pull data from the internet did some slight modifications to it because that one was only meant to run once and then quit mine run pretty much unlimited times so basically it fetches the file from the internet puts it on this computer and then uh, lets me use it and read it so I go I print out the new time just so that you can see what the time is if the last sync equals zero and new time exists then so in other words if there is actually a time for it to use and the last sync was also equal to zero then it's it splits the time into hours and minutes so then you can use your hours and minutes and start working them out so that you can display them properly else if not new time then it sets it to zero and negative one you'll see this negative one and also on the split time two there's a negative one at the end too what that's doing is um, setting the time to one less than what it actually is because in the next statement you see I increase the minute by one so if I had those on zeros then the time would be one minute too fast or or uh, not zero you see the, the if no new time so if something goes wrong and there's no new time from your file from the internet your time's going to just display zero zero so if you're getting zero zero on your time that means there's something wrong with your URL where you're fetching the time from the internet so maybe check your hosting provider see if they allow external sources to pull I don't see that being a problem though you can get any free free PHP hosting site they should allow you to just pull data from them no problems and it's only once an hour so you're not going to get in trouble by using this so yeah, don't worry about that so it increases the time then it just uh, runs a normal check here so if the minutes which is split time 2 one thing I don't know, I know why they do in LUA is uh, they use 1 and 2 instead of 0 and 1. Uh, most programmers are used to 0 and 1. I don't know why that's different here. Yeah? But yeah, that just seems to be how it works. So anyway, this just runs a check. Sees if the split time is greater than 60. If it is, it sets it to 0 and then it increases the hour by 1. And then if split time 1 equals or equivalent to 23, then split time 1 equals 0. So what I've done here is... Uh, if the hour is 23 then I must set it to hour 0 you can set it to 24 I guess but the way we work here in our time zone is it goes to 0 and then it starts from 1 again if if it isn't equal to 23 then it just increases the hour by 1 so if it's 22 it goes to 23 21 it goes to 22 etc etc so basically that just works out your time then once you've got your digits I just do a little quick print there updating time to and whatever this print the time is so just so you can check if your time is actually updating correctly then I go begin set hour set double digits hour side split time one and set double digits min side split time that's actually supposed to be split time two <laughs> recently modified this code so yeah you know, so that's where that problem came in but yeah don't worry the version I'm giving you will work <laughs> and then yeah print time time set last sync so that just prints out a little message time has been set last sync was however many minutes ago that should increase all the way up to 60 before it pings your, your url again and then yeah it says os sleep for 60 60 seconds so what that does is uh, every minute the program will sleep for that minute and then run again and then update its minute so technically the program should actually run forever once it's updated its time 
because every 60 seconds it's running again and updating the minutes so it's yeah it's basically increasing by minute every minute but I just did the, the hourly updates to the hours to the internet time just for safety precautions yeah so it might actually not be necessary but anyway yeah let's give this program a run so yeah if you've got your terminal here and you want re to reboot your machine you just hold control and R for about one second and you'll see it'll reset your terminal for you the system sync prep that's just running through the code there waiting for the HTTP stuff to become ready and you'll see it'll push through a URL quickly after 10 seconds and that will just query your time from from the URL you have in your code HTTP success means that it got the time uh, then it goes 1446 that was the time and then it says updating time to 1446 so you can see the calculation they worked out quite well time set and then it says last sync time zero minutes ago so let's reboot uh, if you ever want to terminate your program because this one runs forever you can also do control T and hold that for a second and it'll say terminated I'm just going to reboot again with control R so it reboots and we can go give it a check on the outside there so yeah you can see it says hello it's a very kind computer and then it says sync so that means it's fetching the data it will say that sync every hour so you'll know when the computer is updating and then it updates the time so it is currently 1447 quite handy yeah so I don't think there's any limit with what you can do with computer craft. I mean, you can send signals to open up special doors throughout your house with specific passwords. I mean, yeah, there's quite quite a lot you can actually do with this program, and I'm just touching a bit on the side of it. But yeah, hopefully you guys have got an idea of what to do. If you need any help with any more information of what I've done here and what exactly has gone on behind the scenes, just let me know. But uh, yeah. We're glad to help you out, and maybe we can teach each other to do some cool stuff. You can see at the top here, yeah, I'm starting to do a little gong, so that maybe it rings a couple of times, or if it's 14, it will ring 14 times every hour, so that everyone in town kind of knows what time it is without having to look when it reaches the hour, so that should be quite cool. And I'll probably send out some red sun signals to the top there, so yeah. I'll update my program when I do that and let you guys know. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it informative. Cheers.